What up, YouTube and Facebook fam? This your boy, the Dread Man, and um, shout out to King of the Dot, shout out to Disaster, and shout out to Arcane. And um, this is me reviewing the battle from Blackout Three between Disaster and Arcane. I'm gonna try to keep this under ten minutes when I do the bar for bar breakdown and basically just what I overall thought about the battle. Now, I, what I thought about the battle, I expected a great battle. This battle was good. It wasn't great. I expected a lot more out of this. I expected more out of this battle. For I mean, it was good for what it was, but. I wouldn't rate this a five star battle like I was expecting. I probably rated two and a half, three stars, or if I was rating it out of ten, I probably rated a six and a half or a seven out of ten. But um, yeah, the main controversy surrounding the battle was um when Arcane purchased bars from Caustic. Well, apparently um it's true because Disaster had the PayPal statements and the Facebook messages back and forth between um Caustic and um Caustic and Arcane. And uh yeah, the main that's that's the main controversy, guys. It's, it's almost like ghostwriting in hip hop is nothing new. People write bars for other rap rappers and artists all the time. But the thing is, they get paid for it. But this was a championship match, a championship rap battle. It's like using steroids in sports. If you get caught cheating and you get caught and if you get exposed, then you should be disqualified. And the thing is, all your victories from that point on will be in question. Like how much of Arcane's bars are really his? And how and who's are um and who's a caustics or how uh, how much of caustic uh, how much of caustic material did uh, arcane buy from him? Now disaster, I want to go to disaster. He's the defending champion coming into this battle, and I uh, I expected my my main prediction for this battle was disaster winning two rounds to one. But one problem with disaster was that he stayed on one angle for way too long, and the crowd ate him alive. The crowd just pretty pretty much tore into him and he's like, Well this is the thanks I get. Like I expose a guy who's buying bars and a guy who cheated and a guy who don't deserve to be here and you're gonna cheer him instead of me. <sighs> yeah, I mean like King of the Dot I guess King of the Dot is kinda of taking a hit for that, but um disaster he could have handled it a lot better. I mean one thing he could have done was well not stayed on the same angle, the same topic, okay? He bought bars, he stole all the bars, but like if, if Disaster would have stuck to his original game plan like he was going to originally do, we just out-rap him. Because normally Disaster, he, he has a lot of multis, he has a lot of good punch lines, and he has tremendous stage presence, and he got good crowd control. If he would have just stuck to his original plan, he would have won just like I predicted. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to say that Arcane didn't kill it. I mean, because he killed it. Now, the first round, um, Arcane, well, well, Disaster went first. And the majority of that round was... Disaster exposing Arcane for the fraud that he is for, uh, you know, expose, he's being exposed for uh, purchasing bars from Caustic. I mean, he probably had only about maybe mm, two or three good lines in there. I mean, I mean, his round, I mean, his round was subpar. I mean, his flow was sloppy. His, he didn't really have good stage presence. I mean, he wasn't controlling the crowd because they were booing him. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was a light round for Disaster. You could have really gave it to either one of them. I mean, but um, Arcane, Arcane, he went off in the first round. He re he really did go off in the first round. Constant punch lines, bars for days, and you know his flow was clean and crisp. But then again, I'll I'll get, I'll get to that later. But uh, about what Disaster said, but um, yeah, the first round you could kind of give it to either one of them. You can edge it out to Arcane, I'll understand, or you can um, give it to Disaster just for his angle, just for exposing it. So, for exposing Arcane, but uh, yeah, like I said, you can give the first round to either one of them. Round two, Arcane completely smashed this round. He did his thing in this round. Disaster, once again, sloppy flow, same angle. Um, it was a real bad look for Disaster, but one line he said that stuck out in this round was, well, I think it was either this round or that round, it, it, this round or the third round, somebody correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but he said, um, Look at his flow then, and look at his flow now. Because one of Arcane's premier battles, or one of his uh, standout battles, was when he lost to Bender at Blackout One. That's one of my favorite battles to watch, by the way. But uh, yeah, I mean, disaster. He was just looking real sloppy. He let the crowd get to him. He let the booing get to him. And shoot, um, if he acts like this in his battle with T Rex on URL, he's gonna be eaten alive. He will not survive that battle. And uh, Arcane, he just continued just to go off. He continued to just, like, be Arcane. 
like I said, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to say that in the same sentence because how much of Arcane's material was really his in this battle. Well, this battle, I can believe it. In the other battles past, I mean, yeah, that's it. That's the thing. When you get caught buying bars, when you get caught doing dirt, there's no telling how much of that material was actually yours before the battle. Now, um, on to round three. I gave that, I gave uh, Arcane round two. Like I said, he completely smashed it. Now, round three, both of them had very good lyrics. Um, Disaster, he got his crowd control back. I mean, because he stuck to, he went right back to the regular Disaster. He went back to his uh, multis, he went back to his punchlines, and he went back to his aggressive style and flow. Like, uh, that one line about the Robocop aim, that shit was dope. And uh, both that both action 38, some crazy shit like that. I'll have the I'll have the um the link to the battle in the um, this, in the description box. Y'all can click the link and y'all can just the battle too. Now uh, Arcane, once again to me he smashed it. Even though I gave this even though I gave round three to disaster, both of like he had a strong fin his his he finished just as strong as uh, as um disaster did. He smashed the third round. Both of them killed it in the third round. But um I feel like um. If I was just to overall judge this battle, once again, I'm gonna judge them on my criteria. Let's see, punchlines and metaphors. I'll give it to Arcane. It's hard to give it to Arcane because it's not, like I said, it's no telling how much of that material is actually his. But I'll go ahead and just give him punchlines and metaphors. Um, let's see, personals. I'll give it to Disaster on personals, even though he stayed on that angle too long. You know, you bought bars this, and um, well, Arcane he had pretty good personals as far as um saying you know he's a this is a whiner you know bringing up his past battles and the whole Armageddon thing never happened but you know the battle with him and T-Rex um let's see crowd control <clears throat> no contest I mean when you do shit this did shit like that to turn the crowd against him when you I guess when you expose a Canadian rapper in Canada and you stay on the same angle if your rhymes ain't polished and put together the crowd's gonna boo you so Arcane not only did he have um not only was he more calmer and collected than disaster and handled the situation better, he um, he was all, he also had a home field advantage. Let's see, um, flow and delivery. You have to give that to Arcane too. The flow and delivery, you have to give it to Arcane um, because I mean you could tell disaster was freestyling a lot, and like it was like while some of his punchlines did hit hard, it would have been better if he um, if his flow and his delivery was better. I mean, so you got to give Arcane uh, flow and delivery. Now, uh, yeah, let's see, flow and delivery, punchlines and metaphors, personals, um, originality, uh, let's see, who was more original in this battle? Originality, I guess you can go ahead and just give that a tie, or you can edge it out to disaster, I mean, I don't know what you guys judge the battles on, but as far as who's more original, I either call it a draw, or I edge it out to disaster in that one, I mean, but they, both these guys stuck to the regular formula, but, well, arcane more so than disaster. Cause he tried to adapt to the new information he got, but yeah, um, I have Arcane winning in two, in three out of five of the categories. But um, like I said, his victory is in question because there's no telling how much of the bars were act, uh, the bars he spit in this battle were actually his. And if you use another person's bars in a battle, you know, prior to this, and that's the only reason why you got there, or if that's half part of the reason why you got there, then do you really deserve the win? Anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Tell me what you guys think of this battle. Like I said, overall, I'll give this battle a 6.5 out of 10. Good battle. Not really a great one like I was expecting. But anyway, and, and is this a bad look for King of the Dot for uh, giving Arcane the championship? I'm out, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.